Hello everyone and welcome back to Blackguards. We just defeated this naked woman and her naked friends. Well, not quite naked, but you get the point, I suspect. It's about as naked as you uh, can get in a game of this type. So let's talk. Then talk! I know that the head of the crows is disguised as a priest of the Twelve, like me. And what else? I swear to you, that's all I know. The head is careful. He doesn't reveal himself to anyone. Oh, that's a shame. 100 AP and a basilisk's tongue. Quite light and apparently a dagger. Definitely want to take all of it. It sounds like a special kind of dagger. Maybe inherent poison effect or something. Basilisks, after all, are poisonous things. Um, don't really need the healer. Raja be with you, gladiators. I think for eight talus that should be my healing. Yep, perfect. Um, now we're collecting some AP again. There is an achievement, by the way, that I just saw earlier, which is having 21,000 AP on one, of your, on one of your characters. And I believe that's having them not spend. So, yeah, might might take a while to get that. Um, 49 piercing damage. Oh, it has an effect of wounding automatically. Interesting. Um... Might be a fun weapon for Aurelia. And then I can sell the other dagger. Um, but I think that's about everything I can do here. So let's leave the place. Okay, and I think now might be a good time to go through... Um, I guess every place and see if there's any uh, any dialogues I've missed. Actually, no. Let's let's do the side quests first. There's going to be someone I need to talk to about the swine, that uh, Furkle guy. Which I is that what they called him? I don't know. Um, the spear that'll just sort of collect itself as I go along, I believe. Head of the crows is in uh, Benevilla. Okay. Well, let's go there, I guess. He's supposedly disguised as a priest. You're looking for a room? No, thank you. The God's with you! Just trying to find someone to talk to, really. Uh... Merchant? Bore on with you. We're looking for a cleric. <laughs> Will anyone do? The one we're looking for lives somewhere outside the city. Then it must be Tair, the Perrain cleric. He lives in seclusion on the Benesira estate. You'll be satisfied. Okay, I believe I have a dagger of some sort to sell to you. You don't sell anything particularly relevant. Um. Hmm. That's not bad. Five me five additional melee damage. It's almost worth using. Uh, I'll just buy, I don't know, two provisions. They're very heavy, so... Hmm. Okay, and that's really about it, so... Yeah. You're always welcome. Now let's talk to these other two guys. I don't think I've been here before. Don't I know you? Uh, Mikram, right? Uh, whatever. Your arm, so help me! Ah, Telemachy the researcher. Don't be disappointed. But my heart belongs to another now. If I need your heart, I'll use a scalpel. Hurry! Um, okay. What's wrong? One of my little monkeys escaped from its cage! I was about to load it into my wagon and take it to main villa. Now it's running around my courtyard and Hasindi knows soon it'll be across town. And my beloved useless husband Azula is trying to play the hero. My monkey will tear him to pieces. Kill my little monkey, or better yet, catch it. I'll reward you richly. Okay, um, let's see if we can learn something first. We'd like to learn something. 
see if there's anything she can teach that I don't already know. I believe I've been here before, actually. It's just... Oh, she can teach Balm of Healing. Very nice. And Clarum Purum. I definitely want to learn all these spells that she has to teach. Nice. Let's see, Jezoberan. Anything you can learn? Okay. Apparently not. Any special abilities she can teach? Technically, she can teach steady casting. Um, which sounds very useful, actually. And technically, she can also teach astral regeneration, too. But that's not so relevant for Aurelia. I think I still have some bow talents left to teach her. Has Cindy be with you? Let's hope so. Okay. So I guess I'll do a quick save and try to get that little monkey. <laughs> Which I suspect is not going to be a little monkey. Yeah. Okay, that's the injured guy trying to be smart, but he wasn't. Um, so I suspect if I want to catch him, I need to trigger this thing here first, then get him to that location, then trigger it again. So how about Takate move here? Perhaps Valeria move here? I mean, I only have one enemy. That should be feasible. I'll move Anorim along as well. Zubran could do some support. Yeah, that's nice. That's kind of where I want you to be. Um, uh, apparently I don't have line of sight. In that case, move back here maybe. I know these guys can really dish out damage, so I have to be careful. Um, they were enemies in one of the arena battles, I believe. Just keep my distance on Zoberan. Can I... Oh, I again forgot to re-supply her with arrows. Well, that was smart. I should really try to remember next time. So I don't have to do this all the time. Because I'm pretty sure I can't knock that one down. Okay, I think you can... Do you have defensive stance? Uh, you do not. You do have some other stuff that I might want to actually put on your hotbar, though, so I don't forget using it. Aside from that, though, you can just wait. Um, Zorbaran, just leg it. Ooh. But I think that's actually okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do that again. Yes. Is that him caught or him killed? I mean, supposedly killed, but... Oh well. I would have gotten more experience if I'd caught him, but... His positioning would have to... have been very precise for that, apparently. Oh well. So? Um, yeah, sorry. The beast is dead. Oh, my poor little monkey. And my Azulo? He survived. Apart from that, he was no help. He never is. Here, this should compensate you for your trouble. Has okay. Cindy be with you? If Let's anyone knows, so. um, tell me what would have happened if I'd done differently, basically. Um, if I'd managed to catch him which would have taken some precise positioning, I feel. Why is this house being guarded? Security. All right. I'll try again. Why 
Is this house being guarded? The man who rented it suffers from an unknown illness. The council has decided that he must not leave the house. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? May we visit the sick man? No. The council has decided that no one... No one may visit him, I got it. Ah, uh, fine. Listen, it's crucial for the well-being of society that we see the sick man. Perhaps these grand emirs will convince you just how serious we are. Hmm. Fine. But don't get too close to him. Yeah, that works. It's only 10 ducats. I, I got that for killing the monkey, actually. Um. Yeah, he seems sick. Who are you? Thieves? Or has the council sent its stooges to eliminate a sick man? I may be ill, but I'll still take one of you with me to the grave. Kinda doubt it. Your pardon. We were expecting a different disease. Come again? We're investigating an affliction spreading in the area. An illness that leaves people without will. Then I'm the wrong man, Bella. His will is the only thing that will never leave the honourable merchant harm. Um, okay. What's wrong with the big and skin? Don't worry, it isn't contagious. Wait! Would you like to be rich? What? Rich, as in the rich Foundlander. Wealthy, affluent, well-to-do. Um, sure. The big one's ugly, but I find him strangely fascinating. Good, I'm searching for a book. Unfortunately, I'm stuck here and slowly going to the dogs. Dogs do not eat rotten meat. Ah. The forest man can talk. It's been five years since I acquired this kraken mute statuette from a lizard man. Since then, I've been stuck with this curse, this slow decay. It took me years to find out the cause, but now I know even more how I can be free of the curse. Um, okay. I'll obviously keep going. Why would I want to abort the quest, after all? What book are we talking about? The book is called al Emazin, a work about lizard men by Omar ben Kassim. Ask spellcasters about it, or the Alchemists' Guild in Menbilla. They're quite obsessed with snake broods of every kind. Help me, and you'll inherit everything I own. I'm a wealthy man. Uh, okay. A book about the dragon servants. What do you want with that? Answers. Answers about the curse I'm suffering. Okay, sure. We'll take care of it. Here's some money. Um, fair enough. I'll take the money. The man is mad. That much is sure. I agree. But inheriting the estate of a wealthy man has been a dream of mine since childhood. I thought you were a rich grandee's son. <laughs> My dear, that doesn't matter. When I look into your eyes, I'm the richest man in the world. I'm sure you are. Mm hmm. That smooth talker. Uh, don't think spending the night. Oh, no, with as well. You'll be sad. It's only nine silver talers anyway. Um. However, we also learned where the crow leader guy is, um, and we found a roadblock. So I'll quick shave and let's go. How may we help you, strangers? We're looking for Taia, the Perrain cleric. We've come to confess our sins. I see. It's just that Tahir likes to see the heads of sinners on these ear poles. Ow. Oh, are you all having those nasty poisons? Should have leveled up my anti-poison spell, I think. Um, okay, wait. Do you have anything except no, you only have those things. Um, Fine, wait as well then. See if they come closer so I can get the first 
first strike in on them. That would be lovely. Um, Zorboran, on the other hand, it's a level 3 poison, if I see correctly. Yeah. It only lasts 3 turns, so that's ish okay. Okay-ish, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll heal. And once again... I'm quick loading now, so I remember to change those down arrows on Aurelia. Uh, that's about fine. Aurelia, you are out of arrows, so you need arrows. So you get a bunch of hunting arrows. Um, fine. That's good. I mean, I could go for different types of arrows as well. But I don't have as many of them. Hmm. Oh, just for fun. Because otherwise I'll never ever use them. I'll go for these sinew cutters. I have 61, that should be okay. And once again... We look... Us tight. Ouch. Okay, so the poison I have now only, quote unquote, gives uh, gives some damage over time. That's not so bad, I guess. And of course, I rolled a twenty straight off. Uh, Zoberan, you can start with a big little fireball. Big little, you know what I mean, with a fireball. More well, actually burst of flame. Don't think that's technically a fireball. Um. So who do I have in my sights? Not too many guys from here. Um, I'll move over here. And, oh, 35%, that's low. It's very low. I have 85 on this one, but I think that might be a bit of a waste. But then again, 35 is not going to work out very well for me, so let's do this. Poison! Yeah, but it's only damage poison. And, ah, I hate that poison. That also takes away my... Ouch! It also takes away my astral points. Means I now definitely need a high level heal on Aurelia so she, well, doesn't die. Poison. Mm. I should really start doing poison myself. Okay, so now all she has is a poison that does slow damage. I think that's probably okay. I'll move her over here. Now the triple shot still has a lousy chance to hit. Wow. Well, the normal shot and the targeted shot work fine, so I'll go with that. I've been poisoned. Ouch. Uh, yeah, definitely do this. Takate could probably use a heal as well. Hmm. And it fails. That's unfortunate. Okay, he's got 10 health left. That should be okay, at least in terms of the poison. Um, let's kill this one. Poison. Okay, apparently not kill him. And there goes the cartoon. Now he's killed. 
Uh, can't quite reach that guy, so I'll deal with the... And that's a trap. Well, how could it be different? Now try to heal Takate. My chance to hit that guy with a triple shot seems to be somewhat reduced for some reason. Ouch. Ouch. I wish they stopped doing that. It's annoying. Uh, quite frankly, I don't care about Takate that much anymore. If he goes down, he goes down. Let's try to see if I have range on him. In that case, I'll get him up again, but... I wasn't going to break a sweat over it. Um, now, I should be in ideal range to... Poison! hit that guy. Except, of course, for traps. No, oh, actually, he swapped weapons, so I can use the most powerful attack I have. Because he can't do anything about it. It's a guaranteed hit. And there we go. 50 AP, some money, and stuff. Okay, I definitely want to rest... I still have a wound on Norim. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Um, how many bandages do we have? There we go. I'm slightly over encumbered, but I'll I'll roll with it, I guess. You get a weak healing potion. Um, do you have anything I want to? Oh. Norim is, uh, Zobrine has used an Astro Potion. You get another one. Aren't you lucky? Okay, everyone else is fine, so that's good. And next thing would be the Country Estate, which we'll get to next episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.